Hello, what we have here today is a Harbor Breeze. Well, it's still a Harbor Breeze, but it's kind of torn apart. <laughs> anyway, it's just a story behind that. It is a Harbor Breeze, though. I'm not sure what model Harbor Breeze this is. I'm pretty sure it's discontinued. Look at the blade arms. The glass for the light kit is missing. I don't know what happened to it. Uh, it was missing when I got it. I picked this thing up off the side of the road, uh, like two weeks ago. It's an outdoor fan. It has, plastic, it has what I'm pretty sure are plastic blades, but I guess even those warp eventually. Anyways, I have it hanging very precariously on this test setup using this green cable. I just ran it through the canopy. Not the best way to hang your fan, admittedly, but... It works good enough for testing. Anyways, the issue I had with this fan was that it was a remote. It was operated by remote control only, so I had to bypass that. In the process of bypassing that, uh, the top didn't want to go on right, so I just cut the whole motor housing off. Cause violence fixes everything. <laughs> Anyways, yeah, this is an outdoor Harbor Breeze ceiling fan of some description and. I have it wired to this current limiter, so it won't torque the cable too much. I guess I'll give you a demonstration of it, so you can quit hearing me yap. I'll go plug it in. It is stuck in reverse, because it's on the cable. Then in the reverse direction, the torque torques against the cable instead of away from it. Plug it in. It does have a slight wobble to it, both because just the way it's mounted, it's not really firmly mounted to a beam or something, and also because the screws that fasten the motor to the down rod shaft, uh, the holes for those stripped out so they wouldn't go back in and fasten it properly. So at the moment, it's just hanging off the metal shank that the motor hangs on from the down rod. This is why it wobbles a bit. Anyways. I don't have a speed controller on it right now. I may get a speed controller set up over here for testing future fans. This is where I'm going to be testing fans I get from now on. Well, at least down rod mounted fans. I haven't really come up with a solution for uh, flush mount fans yet. But I'm sure I can come up with something that can let me test them. I do have those two Hampton Bay Lennington's I can experiment with, but. I personally would prefer to do it with a fan I own because those Lennington's are technically belong to the owner of the house and not me, so I don't want to mess them up. Oh, this fan, I uh, got it off the curb for free, so technically it belongs to me now. Anyways, it does work, as you can see, for the last minute and a half. Ugh. I'm sure here you can hear it. It does put off a nice breeze despite the unideal mounting condition. Let's see, those are the cables for it. Now I'll be making more fan videos as I'll get fans from the Habitat store. As I find out they're super affordable up there. So I'll get them and I'll bring them here to test them. Then I'll probably just donate them back to the Habitat. I'll figure something out like that. There's some silly fans at Walmart I've also been wanting to test, but they're like 69 70 bucks. It's kind of steep just for testing. Anyways, so there's like that side view, the bottom view. I don't have the so size of light bulbs, and even if I did have the right size of light bulb for it, since it's remote control only, I would have to bypass the circuit for the light bulbs too. To so use those. Anyways, I'll go ahead and disconnect the fan. It's the Harbor Breeze. I'm sure someone in the comments will tell me what the model is, and I'll put that in the thumbnail when I figure it when someone tells me.
All right. Have a good day and uh, more fans to come.